Hi guys, it's the 19th of January now. Uh, two days ago on the 17th, I went down Burton Hospital for my uh, CT scan, which was a, a weird affair. They sort of got this big portable uh, scan unit outside the building and anyway you sort of go in and lie on a bed and they uh, put like a, a dye in your bloodstream sort of hook me up to uh, a couple of pipes and put some dye in me and then they lie you on this table and lower you into this uh, well not lower you in they sort of just slide you into uh, this machine like a black stripe round it that sort of spins and uh, and, uh, and and yeah it just basically targets the areas and tries to show up you know what they can tell about this cancer and what kind it is I was only in there about 10-15 um, uh, minutes so obviously I've got to wait for them results but yeah, I was I was in there done and dusted. No, uh, nothing pain. No, uh, yeah, it's quite it's quite a cool procedure really. Just had the thing in my arm and that's that. But the thing is, I actually got back home and I think I was at home about two hours and I got another telephone from Burton uh, Hospital saying we've got you booked in for an MRI scan. Can you come this afternoon? And I thought, ah, shit, I've just been there. And it says, yeah, they booked me in for... The first one was 9.20, the second one was uh, 3.45. So I went back down there again. This time they were saying sort of don't wear anything metallic and wear certain kind of clothes and all that kind of thing. But yeah, anyway, I went to, I went in. I filled a form in about, you know, what am I allergic to, what am I not, and uh, loads of things like that. And eventually I sort of went in, they put me in a gown, I had my dressing gown on. And they uh, sit, once again seat you on a table. And uh, they sort of slide you into this big tunnel, for lack of a better word. And they sort of, you go in so far, only sort of up to your nose. And then uh, they have like a cage around your ribs. Mine was just sort of from the neck uh, down, because it's obviously the chest and bowel area that they want to do. Uh, I think this is just basically looking to see if the cancer has spread anywhere else, but yeah. Uh, there's a sort of lots of beeping going on and they tell you to hold your breath. And then the machine tells you to uh, breathe normal, then hold your breath again. And it must have been about half an hour, something like that. Just various knockings, beepings and buzzings. And then they sort of take you completely out. And then they put another sort of capita thing in my arm. And put a relaxant, sort of a muscle bowel relaxant thing in there. And then they uh, proceed, uh, repeat the procedure again. Sort of, but this time you sort of they slide you more of a way in, right up to sort of my head, sort of hard. And it's the same thing hold your breath, breathe normal, hold your breath. But this time there's sort of lots more beeping and, and louder knocking. They did put headphones on me. Uh, my wife and other people have said that they ask you what kind of music you want on, but I didn't have any music. They just said it was for because the, uh, the 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 noise was so loud. But yeah, I was in there for about another half an hour, beepings, bangings, and knockings, and uh, yeah, and then that was done, and uh, I was away home. I sort of went in there at uh, half past three, and I came out about quarter past six. So, yeah, I'm going to swap arms because my arm's aching. There. Uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that, I'm just waiting for, for results now. I haven't added the results of any of my tests or scans yet. I think they sort of said it might be a week or two. So we're just basically looking and waiting for results. So I've had my uh, CT scan. I've had my biopsy. I've had my MRI scan. I know I've got a lump. We know we've got cancer, we don't kind of know what cancer it is yet, but or whether it's spread. So now it's just a waiting game. But um, I'm glad about that. You know, um, I've had enough just for this week or two with pipes and needles and things in my uh, arms. My arms are looking like a pincushion, I've got bruises <laughs> everywhere. 
So yeah, at the minute, it's just a waiting game, guys. So I did mention on the last one, I'm, the only trouble I'm having is going to the toilet. I need to go all the time. And uh, like I said, I had a tattoo appointment. I took loads of emoji. And I will say, if you're going through anything like me, taking shit loads of emodium is not the way forward. Don't do that. I just did it to get me through a tattoo session because obviously I can't be going... Yeah, I need to go. So hopefully the future will stop that. <laughs> so yeah, just a waiting game, guys. So I'll keep you updated for what happens next.